Well, I'm Carol Free. My husband Greg and I have been attending CLC for several decades. We have raised six children here, and now we have 15 grandchildren. So it's a, a busy family. Well, years ago, when we had twins, and we had four children, three and under, my twins were part of a media campaign by Dayton Right to Life. And when they were featured, in this ad all over Miami Valley. I looked and saw my twin daughters and they were darkened out and realizing every third baby at that time was dying, dying by choice. It really called me to do even more. So I uh, later on started helping at Miami Valley Women's Center, which is now Hope Rising. I started seeing clients, I uh, started uh, going in the rooms and letting clients tell me their story and we were giving them options about potential for adoption or how we could help with parenting classes and providing clothing and diapers and formula. And we just, we just really wanted to, to minister to people that were hurting. Um, when I'm in a client room, and this just happened recently, someone came in and they were determined that they were gonna end their pregnancy. They had actually been here before and they had had a prior abortion. When I asked the client, you know, why did you come back? She said, because you're non-judgmental and I feel safe here. We were able to do an, an ultrasound for her and showed her that her baby was um, alive. It had a heartbeat. And we came back to the client room. She was still determined that she was gonna have an abortion. We were able to share a little bit more and she let me pray with her. And after praying with her and she pulled her head up, she had a tear in her eye. And that was the, the first time that I saw a softening of our whole appointment. Uh, the Lord directed me to share some other things with her. And she accepted some information and about potentially life for her child. So why am I still here? I'm here at um, Hope Rising because I really feel the Lord has called me to defend life in this way. It's been a strong passion of me and it brings me to tears when I think about how many men and women out there have struggled with a past uh, pregnancy, maybe some kind of an abuse, and they don't have anyone to talk to. So keeping our doors open here that someone feels safe, they can come in and share, and there's someone who loves them and is non-judgmental. And we're hoping and praying that people will choose life for their unborn children and have gospel transformation. It's a very fulfilling position to be in, is, is being in the will of God. And so um, I'm just thankful for this opportunity.